Mangroves all belong to different species, but they have the same common adaptations to what is an extreme environment in which they live. It is this still tidal marine environment where these trees grow and thrive. The mangrove environment is not an easy place to live. These trees have adapted well to this environment. The level of salinity, the raising and falling of the tide, and the temperature changes all make it a difficult environment to survive in. Mangroves have adapted to this unique environment. Different trees have different adaptations and so can cope with these problems in different ways. The river mangrove excretes the salt that is left on the upper surface and is wiped off with your finger in large quantities. Taste it, the spotted mangrove, yellow mangrove and orange mangrove all stop the salt coming in to the plant in the first case, the leaves are thicker, waxier. They hold moisture inside their leaves. This adaptation allows both trees to live in what can be very high salinity levels, but changing environments as the tide moves in and out. If we look at a grey mangrove, it excretes salt on the upper surface of the leaf. It also deposits salt into the old leaves, which then fall back into the forest, recycling the salt and the organic matter at the same time. It can cope with wind and waves and actions along the edges of the sea zone where there is more exposure. You'll find it as the landward plant as well as the seaward plant. Another adaptation which allows the plant to survive is the adaptation to quickly growing and creating a new form of life when the tides are changing. This falling of the seeds allows them to be actually held in the sand and the mud without drifting away by the sea. So mangroves are a group of plants have adapted to having these viviferous seeds which means that they are held on the tree until they have fully grown with their first leaves and roots before they fall to the ground and pierce the mud. Otherwise they wash away like the leaves or be eaten by the small crabs with the next tide.